Hey guys, welcome back to The Golfing Gamer and to another game of WGT. And today I thought we would try a game mode we have not played yet, which is the nearest to pin in the tournament section. And uh, let's see, which one should we go for? Go for a course we haven't played before. Edgewood? Let's go Edgewood. Yeah, okay. Nearest to pin comp. Let's see how we do. Now, hopefully... I've still got the clubs that I rented over the weekend, because I'm recording this on the Monday after the free rental weekend, so hopefully I've still got all this stuff. It looks like I do. So that might give us a leg up, you never know. Okay, going into the wind, the rough, a bit of backspin, I think almost full power. And uh, don't click so soon. There we go. I pushed it a little bit. I wasn't for that, it would have been pretty close. So just outside 10 feet, it's probably can get the heartbeats for that one, but we move on to the second hole. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to hit that, I'm going to go for the sand wedge. Uh, hitting out a rough again, about 75 yards maybe. A bit less, a bit more. A bit less. Go 74. I'm clicking a bit too late now, but apparently this is going to be good. Apparently. Yeah, alright, not bad. Seem to have our eye in today. So we need it right now. 190 yards this time. I'm going to club down. Into the wind, so I'm going to... No, sorry, downwind, sorry. Use not spin on that. Send it a bit higher. Going downhill. Uh... Out there. That's probably not going to be on the green. Oh, it is. Just, uh. What is it? Hmm. That's on the green, just not particularly close to the hole. 170 yards. It's going to ride the wind, going uphill, so to account for that. Put the backspin on again. And uh, 162, 171, it's a bit more than 95%. Yeah, it should be too bad, it doesn't go too far. Which it might be doing. Sit, sit, sit. I think we're on the green again, just. Alright, so 65 feet of it so far. Yeah, it must be feet. Going uphill. There's much wind there. So I'll walk up to the 7 iron. Chuck all the backspin on this time. That's going to be 149 on 8. 157. A bit more than that again. That was a click too soon. Get up, get up, get up. Get down. And again, good distance, just a poor line. Yeah, that's the pitching wedge, 120. Despite the fact we're going uphill, that's pretty strong wind. I'm just going to let it do its thing, I think. I'll probably instantly regret that decision. Oh no. Seems to like it. Must be. Right, 9.5 feet away. Oh, it's close, 9.1. It's a good shot, though. Alright. As much as I want to believe I can hit this... Oh. Sod it. I'm an idiot. Full power. And that's why I'm an idiot. 2% to 5% of the bunker, that should still be flying onto the green from there. Downhill all the way, wind behind. Uh, just hit this one full? No. Hit this one a bit less. Let's go about there. Alright, it's going to be close again. Q. 
again, it's just the line. Distance is great. So we want to our final hole, 142 yards. And just when you think it might not be too bad, this is what we get. I'm going to give it a little bit of backspin into this wind. Just a little bit. And go full power. And again, it seems to like it. I just I get a fix over the wrong line. That was our best shot of the nine, wasn't it? Okay, so... That wasn't too bad. Less than 200 feet in total. From the flags, 163 to be exact. Uh, let's see if we can beat that now, shall we? So, realistically, we're going to try and beat 160 feet in total distance. Because I can't remember the exact number off the top of my head. So, uh, yeah. So we can beat 160 feet. Alright, so 90% is going to be 122. So we're adding on. We've got this quicker. Plus, there's the rough to consider as well, so. Almost full power. That's a good way to start this. Overlooks the things. Go in the hole, go in the hole! Oh! Okay. Good start. Onto this hole again. Again, I'm going to hit the sandwich. Try and where we went last time. 74 was. too much? Too little? About right? I can't remember. Chuck some spin on that. And yeah, let's do this. Gonna run up there? It did. This is a very good start. Gotta try and keep that going here now. Alright, so the wind's gonna take it off to the right. So if I aim at the edge, there's one place it shouldn't be going, and that's the edge. Full backspin. Downwind. So almost full power. And that better be hanging on to the green. Again, fairly close, just not close enough to warrant the heartbeats. 180 from the fairway. I'm thinking just full power, maybe just a little bit of backspin. That was bad, that was bad timing. Stay on the green, stay on the green. Okay, it has. Oh, well, so much for that good start we had. But we're, still, we're still on for beating our current best score at the moment. One four five to carry to the front. With the wind helping, like the tiniest bit of backspin again, maybe we can carry it up there. Looks like I was right. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Should have got the backspin, should I? Oh well, that's uh yeah, three heartbeats out of five, not bad. Tom six again. Wind's going to carry it to the right. One two two. One two eight. Uphill. And spin on to try and control it. And a bit more than ninety five percent. About there. Well, poor timing, but apparently that's going to work. Go on, get up there. Get down. A bit long, but again, it worked out. Right, we learnt from our mistakes from last time, hopefully, when take our sand wedge. Uh, full power went about 42, wasn't it, in the air, so... That's 60 there, 70... 80, maybe, full backspin. And that's, that's too much, apparently. That's just a little bit too much. And that's uh, ruined what would have been a good entry. Two more holes to go. Let's see if we can just stick these on the green and uh, beat the score we're aiming to beat. It's 
straight downwind again this time. Chuck some backspin on that. And we went to about there, didn't we? Okay, not so good this time, but hopefully it's holding the green. It's not holding the green, is it? Stay there. That's on the green. No. Yeah. Alright, cool. We've got 40 feet to play with here. Hopefully we just stick this one close. Hopefully. Full backspin and almost full power. A bit right to help. Yep. I guess that's going to be inside 40 feet. Just a bit hard again. And there we go. That is nearest the pin. That's how that works. And I uh, can't imagine we've set a particularly good score here in this tournament. Uh, 108th. That's a lot better than I normally do when I play Nimmer tournaments. Yeah, that was nearest the pin. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will see you later. Next week on The Golfing Gamer and WGT, the Aloha Showdown.